All right, guys, we got a big one today, an exciting one today. The C8 Corvette Z06 is finally getting some new wheels. I can't show you them just yet, but this is something that has been a long time coming. We're finally getting some new shoes, some new wheels on the C8 Corvette Z06. Let's get right into it. All right, so I have been talking about these wheels for quite some time now. Um, any of you who know me on a more personal level have heard more than you want to know about these wheels. and it's finally time. We're gonna be getting them installed today. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about why I decided to go with these wheels before we jump right into it and start talking specs and all that other stuff. I didn't really even wanna change the wheels on the car, to be honest with you. The C8 Corvette Z06 stock forged wheel is a pretty nice looking wheel. I had a couple different companies send me messages and say, hey, Justin, do you wanna get some wheels for the Z06? And I really, I turned most of them down because I, I really didn't wanna do wheels because again, the stock wheels are pretty nice. Now, whenever this company who we're gonna talk about in a second contacted me, I initially told them no as well until they started telling me some of the selling points to these things. One of them being that they tout higher quality than pretty much anybody else on the market, but the biggest one was the weight difference. Then it started kind of clicking in my head. These wheels are not just for looks. The wheels that I got, in my opinion, are nicer than the stock Z06 wheels, but they're also significantly lighter weight. Let's go over all of it now. All right, so before I show the actual wheels, I wanna show what company I went with. And I went with Forge Light wheels. That's without a D, Forge Light. So Forge Light is actually part of JC Forged, and it's based out of Vancouver. Now, there's a lot of benefits to these wheels outside of what we just talked about earlier too, which was the weight, the look, the quality. We're going to talk about all of it because it's a big deal. Big, big deal. When you're buying wheels for your Corvette, your baby, you don't want to cheap out on these things. Now, not that these things are super expensive by any means, but they are a little bit more expensive than the forged light version or some of the Aralari wheels. Of course, I'm I'm a good friend of Chet's at Aralari and I, I almost went with a set of his wheels. We've actually done some business in the past. Again, I didn't even really wanna do wheels on this car, but whenever I heard about the quality and the weight savings here, I had to do something. So without further ado, guys, here is the style of wheel that I went with. These are the SV00 style wheels. And we're gonna talk all about the customization available, the center caps that are absolutely insane, and yes, real carbon fiber. We're gonna talk about all of it right now. So right off the bat, one of the biggest differences with the Forge Light experience was the customer service. Right off the bat, I was able to get somebody on the phone or via text message immediately, which was really cool. But the biggest thing afterwards was how, how much they seemed to care about what wheel I chose and why. So as we went through all of the wheels on their website, which they have a bunch of different wheel options, I was asking questions about this wheel, about that wheel, about this wheel, about that wheel, and they were mocking them up for me as I was asking. So they were actually sending me high resolution pictures of a C8 Corvette Z06 black coupe with the wheel option that I wanted actually on it. So I could see what it would look like on my car before I purchased it, which was really, really freaking awesome. I'll throw in some of the renderings here because they were really, really high quality and looked really good. It really gave you a good idea of what this thing was gonna look like on your car, which is a big deal because when you're about to drop thousands of dollars on a wheel, you should already know you're gonna like it on your car, right? And I'll be honest, guys, there's a bunch more to talk about, but I know what you guys are really here for. You wanna see what these things look like on the car. So let's get these mounted and balanced and everything on the car first, and then we'll talk about all the rest of the specifics afterwards. But one thing to keep in note here is right here, the runout QC is going to factor in here very soon because of how tight their tolerances are or how awesome their quality control is basically because these wheels being so much more finely tuned are way less likely to cause any kind of vibration issues and all that good stuff. One other thing I wanna mention before we get these things mounted is this. I thought this was actually really cool. So on all wheels, on all four wheels here, on the front and back, there is a really, really textured, I would call knurling, which I know is a funny word. It's, this is basically what this is called whenever there's a real heavy texture in the metal. You can, you can hear it. It's literally there to grip the inside of the tires so the tire doesn't spin on the wheel. Just another thing that most people don't think about. I'm excited, I'm excited guys, because this car is gonna look freaking awesome. Let's do it. Sorry, one more thing, and then we're gonna go get these things mounted, I promise. We gotta weigh them. 
because that is one of the biggest benefits, the biggest performance benefits here is the weight of these babies. Yeah, let's throw them on a scale and see how much weight we're gonna save over the stock wheels. So there we go. The front wheels are 25.2 pounds. I just weighed that one there. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh one of the rear ones. And then of course, what we're gonna do is once we get these tires taken off and mounted onto the new wheels, we're gonna also weigh the stock wheels. I already have a pretty good idea of what they weigh based on some of the people in the Corvette forum, but just to be sure, we wanna compare them all fairly. So 25.2 for the fronts. And before we weigh the rears, guys, let's just take a minute to appreciate the concavity, concavity, whatever. Look at how, how freaking deep those are. The rear wheels, of course, are 13 wides and they give some serious concave appearance. I love it. Anyway, let's weigh these. All right, so these ones required a little bit more science or finesse, we'll say, because that scale is not wide enough for that girthy baby. So what we had to do was actually weigh myself and then weigh myself again, holding the wheels and the difference came out to 31.6 pounds. Now over on the Corvette forum, looks like the stock wheels weigh 29.1 pounds in the front and 34.6 in the rear. So we have quite a bit of savings already if those numbers are to be trusted. But we're gonna weigh them anyway, just to see what it really comes out to and see how accurate the Corvette form is. Last update, I promise, and then we're going to get these mounted. I just did the math and based on the weight of the wheels on the Corvette form, assuming that that's accurate, and the weight of these wheels, we are going to save about 14 pounds of unsprung mass all the way around. So about four pounds a piece in the front and about three pounds a piece in the rear. A good weight savings. This was one of the biggest reasons why I even decided to do this. Like I said, I like this, the look of the stock wheels, but these ones are gonna save weight and they're also gonna fit flush with the fenders without any kind of wheel spacers or anything. One hour later. And we are ready. Let's go get these things mounted. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for the wheels to come back uh, mounted and everything, we have a Ford Raptor here, and of course my friend's TRX that you've probably seen in the previous video. We're gonna be doing some ditch lights on these things because both of them want the ditch lights after they saw the ditch lights on my truck. <laughs> for reference, here we go. These are from Last Fit, but I'm using the SDHQ brackets, and both of these guys got the SDHQ brackets as well, so it's gonna be kind of a, a familiar install process. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So I know you guys are here for the wheels, but Bear with me while we uh, we do a couple other things today. These are really, really, really high quality brackets. I love those. And we're gonna be doing it on the Raptor first and then on my friend's TRX. Mine already has it, so we're good there. And if you guys haven't noticed, the TRX is actually looking pretty clean today. Thanks to this guy. This is Patrick. This is his uh, detail shop. He comes to you and cleans your stuff up. So we did a little negotiating. I said I'd do his ditch lights for him if he washed my truck and he took care of it. So check him out. And naturally, we're all also doing a cold air intake on the Raptor. So it's kind of a it's kind of an install day here at the Horsepower Obsessed Garage. We got all the guys, all the new cars, all the all the performance stuff. Why not, right? So here's Dana pretending like he knows what he's doing. I have no idea. <laughs> it's yeah, it's AF, this is the same kind of intake I put on the TRX. So we're putting that on as well as obviously the ditch lights. We haven't started on the TRX yet, but we'll be doing that one next. Right now, that performance intake is going in here. We're working on getting the, the ditch light brackets done. So it is obviously much later here in the day. We still haven't gotten these wheels on yet, but they're gonna be going on here soon. So we got a clean TRX, which she actually looks really good when she's clean. Look at that thing. Uh, we've so far gotten the ditch lights installed, wired, they are good to go. These right here, the rigid ditch lights, wired into the factory aux switch on the Raptor here. Working on the cold air intake, almost done. Of course, we went with the AFE power on this thing. Ditch lights activated. Got the fog lights on. There they are. Pretty bright. Definitely goes nicely with all the other lights on the truck. Pretty cool. All right, so we're having a debate. Patrick says he likes these. I'm torn. Dana's torn. I, mean, I don't love them. I say I don't like them. Now, go, turn them off so I can show what they look like. Because these are just like plastic covers that snap on over top of the ditch lights. They don't really match the orange of the other lights. I don't know. 
I, uh, I, I can't say I love it. I can't say I love it. Two days later. <sighs> All right. So it is actually two days later. So uh, we ran out of daylight on the day we were doing all the installs, the ditch lights, the wheels, all that good stuff. And then in typical Pennsylvania fashion, it did nothing but rain all day yesterday. So today is going to be the reveal of the new wheels. We still have a lot to talk about, so I don't wanna push this video to the point where it is an hour long. I'm gonna fit as much in here as I can, but it might continue on to a, a separate video on another day. But we're gonna show the wheels right now. I do. I really, really, really like them, to be honest with you. And there's a lot to talk about, but I'm going to hit the, the main bullet points here first. The biggest thing is, it's not paint. These are powder coated. All of the wheels from Forge Light are powder coated, not painted. So the surface of this wheel is going to take a lot more abuse before showing damage. The stock wheels, those are painted, and I've already seen rock chips on them, and I only have uh, 3,700 miles on the car. So not only are they powder coated, but you can see the little indentations on the wheels of all the options I have on there. They're customizable. You can put whatever you want on there. And looking back on it, I kind of wish I would have put the Z06 emblem on there because they can do that for you. A friend of mine down in Florida actually has a set of wheels by Forge Light that he has the 70th anniversary logo carved in and filled in with color. So my wheels are satin black. The color option here is obviously red. The center cap we haven't even talked about yet is a four-piece center cap with real carbon fiber behind it. But the biggest benefit for you guys is if you don't like the Forge Light center caps, the Corvette emblem center caps will fit. Now, these are also obviously pretty cool center caps, like I said, for a piece, but you can remove the back part of them, the carbon fiber piece, and leave them wide open for the track use. That way there's no excess pressure that pops the center caps out. Believe it or not, that is the thing. Now I did weigh the stock wheels and the difference in weight here is 15 pounds. So the stock wheels weigh 15 pounds more than these ones do, all added up. So we're saving a good bit of weight. On top of the fact that these are fully forged, so they're stronger, they're lighter, they're nicer looking, they fit the car perfectly, which means we have a 29 offset in the front and a 22 in the rear. Honestly, if you wanted to get really super aggressive with it, you could go probably a hair more, more like 27 in the front and maybe 20 or 19 in the rear, would really make it maybe even a little bit more than flush, a little stick, sticking out a little bit more. These are pretty much perfectly flush. Now we're gonna dive into all the specifics in a, in a future video. I don't wanna make this video an hour long, like I said. So the biggest thing to remember here is stronger, lighter, fully customizable. And if you buy them from the link in the description down below, you can save 250 bucks on it. And if you buy them from my website, which will be coming a little later, it's even more. So stay tuned for that, guys. We're gonna talk all about these things moving forward. But the big thing is Forge Light, no D. These are higher quality, better runouts, meaning way more quality control, flatter, smoother surfaces, better forging process, lighter weight because of it, stronger because of all of that. I know I'm repeating myself at this point for now, guys. These things are awesome. Take it all in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.